Sony's Alpha SLT A37 is a relatively uninspiring update to the A35, which is the company's entry-level fixed mirror camera. It's not a bad camera. In fact, it's one of the fastest models in its price class, and it's capable of producing very nice photos up through ISO 800. I have mixed feelings about the A37's design, which is the same body as the A35. It's relatively compact for its type, and overall the control layout and interface deliver a pretty streamlined shooting experience. But the camera has the dimmest EVF I've ever seen, even with the brightness boosted, so despite having a decent resolution, it's not very enjoyable to use. And though this model has a tilting LCD, which the A35 lacked, it's pretty small and low resolution. The camera has the usual assemblage of Sony features. New to this generation is the auto portrait framing feature. In superior auto mode, when you frame a picture of a person in a landscape orientation, it will automatically create a crop that more attractively positions the persons in the photo, and it'll save both it and the original. This is a really clever and useful idea for newbies. However, after cropping it, Sony feels compelled to bloat it back up to 16 megapixels, which, if there's noise, it will exacerbate the noise, and even at low ISOs, it will just mush up the uh, regular detail with interpolation. If you're planning on shooting video, keep in mind that you can only use the manual exposure settings with manual focus. If you want to use autofocus, you give up the ability to set shutter speed or aperture. That said, the video looks pretty good. And the photo quality is exactly what I expected. It's very good at ISO 100 and 200 and usable up through ISO 800 or ISO 1600, depending upon your scene. Color and exposure are consistent and relatively accurate as well. I'm a bit disappointed with the new kit lens, the 18 to 135 millimeter f3.5 to 5.6. I tested it because I think it's going to be a popular choice and because it has a similar design to one of my favorite Sony lenses, the 16 to 50 f2.8. Unfortunately, it's not very sharp and it can't focus as close as the 18 to 55 millimeter kit lens. It is pretty well designed for manual focus, and in conjunction with the peaking capability in the camera, it actually makes it possible to manually focus despite the problems I mentioned before with the LCD and the viewfinder. As for performance, the camera focuses and shoots very quickly in both bright and dim conditions, and the processing overhead doesn't bog down shot-to-shot -shot performance. Although the continuous shooting is relatively fast for this cohort, I found the autofocus tracking couldn't keep up. The A37 is a solid entry-level DSLR-class camera that will serve anyone on a tight budget who's looking for something to shoot active kids and pets. I'm Lori Grunin, and this is the Sony Alpha SLT A37.